based on Johns Hopkins analysis of COVID-19 mortality rates, looking at the most affected countries in the world, I asked President Donald Trump Wednesday afternoon, Mr. President, with 4% of the world's population and 30% of the outbreak, what would you have done differently facing this crisis? Well, nothing. If you take New York and New Jersey, which were very hard hit, we were very, very low. And in terms of morbidity and in terms of uh, uh, you look at the death, relatively speaking, we're at the lowest level along with Germany. Germany, us, there could have been some smaller countries too. This is not true. According to Johns Hopkins mortality analysis for COVID-19, the United States has a mortality rate of 6% per 100,000 cases. Germany is 4.6%. Both are terrible numbers. The president then handed off my question to Dr. Deborah Burks. Every country is different. That's why you really need to always report data normalized per population. And then you look at the mortality by population, and it's true. We have, compared to our European colleagues, some of the lowest mortality, about half of Italy and Spain. And so I think it's really important. While it's true we have a lower mortality rate than Italy and Spain, those two countries are two of the most affected countries in the world. To be generous, Dr. Burks is a bit disingenuous as there were only eight countries to choose from that had worse outcomes than the United States, she could have chosen any one of 190 other countries that didn't. The president then reaffirmed his claim. Just to finish your question, I mean, so we're in that category along with Germany as the lowest, and I think that's a great, uh, it's a great honor. And that's including New York and New Jersey, which have had a very, uh, they had a very high number. To reemphasize, being at the top of Johns Hopkins' list for mortality rates worldwide is not a great honor. Reporting from the White House and remotely from Old Town Alexandria, this is Doug Christian.